today. This topic is for you. Again, we're going to be talking about how to manage your business, and specifically for this week, we're going to be um, we're going to be focusing on how to manage your people. Kasi pag nagnegosyo po kayo, may mga tao po kayo. How do we manage them? How do we talk to them? Today, we're going to be talking about um, root cause analysis. So it's already 30, so we'll start already. Okay, let me just prepare the slides. Ayan. Root cause analysis po tayo ngayon. Um, sorry, not the five wise. Right, handling personal issues, which is root cause analysis. What is root cause analysis? Diba? Um, ano ba yan, Sir Lloyd? Ano ba yung root cause analysis na yan? Ganito kasi yan. Right, um, a problem, uh, you, there is a problem with facing a certain issue of an employee. Right? For example, hindi lang employee. For example lang, um, why we need root cause analysis. Pag tum- habang tumatakbo yung kotse mo na dinad- minamaneho mo, tapos biglang yung gulong um, naubusan ng hangin. Diba? So, the problem there is, ang nakikita mo kagad is, kulang ng hangin. So, our first uh, first resolution for this is really go to a, a gasoline station at magpahangin tayo. Right? And then, that fix the issue. May hangin na naman sa loob ng gulong. And after few uh, after a few days, wala na namang hangin. Right? So, nagre-recur yung problem. And not knowing na um, yung ano pala, yung main issue pala ng gulong was may butas na dun lum, sum, uh, dun sum, um um, dun lumalabas ang hangin. So, you have to go to a vulcanizing shop and fix it right away. Right? So, pag, pag na-okay na, um, na, 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 na ano na yung butas, after a few days, bumalik na naman, at tinacheck mo ulit, dalawa pala yung butas. ba? So, tatlong beses nag yung problema. And, because we didn't go to the main issue right away, Napaka-hassle po at babalik-balik yung problema. That's why we need to do root cause analysis and get to the issue right away. So what is root cause analysis? Here. So root cause analysis is the process of dissecting a problem. Ayan po. Hindi na dissect po natin ang problem so that you can get into the main cause of the issue and apply the right action plan. Okay? So kasi pag mali yung action plan na in-apply natin, um paulit-ulit yung problema and it's gonna be um, stressful for everyone, the management, for the people and mag, magkakausapin mo na naman yung tao and it's gonna cause conflict. Um, so, you have to go to the problem directly, right? And how do you do that? Um, I'll give you a very good example. I was talking to my nephew yesterday, right? I was talking to my nephew um, not yesterday, the other day, okay? So, Kasi, um, yung pamangkin ko, um, anak ng brother ko, uh, my brother passed away. And I am acting as his dad right now. Ngayon, nagtitraining po ako sa kanya about finances. Right? So, after our conversation with, with finances and we're starting a business for him sa school, um, he told me, Daddy, he calls me Daddy because he treats me as his dad na. Kasi I'm the one who's been watching him. Right, so he said, he told me, Daddy, can I get a new phone? Right? Kahit yung, yung keypad na phone lang. Kasi ayoko siya magka-phone na para yung, para yung Android, ba? Kasi it's, um, it's a distraction sa studies. So he asked me, defensively, can I get a new phone kahit yung keypad lang? Right? He asked me. So I asked him, why? What, what's the problem? Right? Why do you need a new phone? Meron ka namang phone na binigay ko na dati pang text mo sa akin if you need anything. Diba? So, he, he he told me, kasi yung unang phone ko, nalulobat. And, ano, and, um, I might miss texting you, or hindi ako makatext sa'yo, baka matagalan ako pag So, that was his defense. Right? So, I asked him, why? Why is your phone? Ayun, una yung unang why, why do you need a new phone? Diba? Kasi may problema na. Yun pala yung problema, hindi siya makapag-text. So, and, nalulobat yung phone niya. So, I asked him, why again? Kasi, Sabi niya, nalulobat kasi minsan, um, minsan hindi ko na cha-charge pag gabi. Kasi pag gabi, may batteries pa. Eh, so, hindi ko siya na-charge. And yun, baka, kinabukasan na, 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 na tatama na ako ng lobat. I see. So, now we're looking at the problem na hindi mo na cha-charge. Bakit hindi mo na cha-charge? Sabi niya, minsan kasi uh, may battery pa, minsan may, or nakakalimutan ko. 
right? So the solution he was proposing was to give him a new phone, right? After root cause analysis, ang problema pala is hindi niya na charge tuwing gabi at nakakalimutan niya. So now we know the root cause of the problem, alam ko na ano solution. So I asked him, so now what the uh, now we know what the problem really is, what is our solution for this? And it, it was him who answered, uh, so I have to make sure na ma ma charge ko every night. And if kasi ang problema is nakakalimutan ko, maybe um, maybe I'll make an action plan na um ma remind ako mag mag-charge nito every day ev every night. Diba? So I told him about root cause analysis what we did. The solution we he proposed was get a new phone. When after root cause analysis we found out na iba pala dapat ang solution. It's not a new phone. Okay? Same rin ito sa mga empleyado ninyo. Uh, if you have an employee, tas na, na late sa umaga, yun ito yan. <laughs> right? So, um, sir, na late ako. Yan, yan. So, I asked my employee, bakit ka na late? Kasi sir, nat na natagalan ako ng pagising. And matagalan, natagalan ng pagising, usually, we stop there. Right? You should not stop there. Bakit um, matagalan ka ng gising? Wala ka bang alarm clock? Diba? So, if he says no, then we, okay, um, I'll give you an alarm clock or you buy an alarm clock. Hanggang doon lang tayo. And if, kahit pa may alarm clock yan ngayon, if, hindi pala yun yung rason, bakit, bakit siya na, na, nakagising na matagal, then we're, uh, we're solving the problem, we're giving the wrong solution for the problem. So, what you do is, here is how you go to the root cause analysis, right? This is one strategy I always use, which is the five whys. Limang wise as much as possible. Asking wise after an answer so you can get the cause of that answer. And then ask another why until you see the root of the problem. Hanggang wala na kayong why makita. Right? So, here is the problem right now. An employee is late. So, I ask him, why are you late? Kasi sir, natagalan ako ng gising. Isang why pa lang yun. Right? That's not... Um, so, when you go there, hindi pa yun yung solution. Yun, hindi pa yun yung root ng problem. Ask again why. O, bakit ka nakatagalan ng pagising? Okay, so if he answers, kasi sir, natag um, matag um, na natagal hindi ako nakatulog ng maaga kagabi. Okay, so if you stop there again, the solution for that problem is, eh di matulog ka ng maaga, usually yung mga may-ari, ganun lang ang sinasabi. Right? I hope you're not guilty about this. If you are, please change it. Ask another why. Kasi pag, eh di matulog ka ng maaga, kasi alam mo naman may trabaho ka bukas, di ba? Ganito, ganyan. Hindi mo alam pa ano yung... Ano yung rason talaga? The root cause. Why? Na late siya. So, after, uh, after the employee answers, kasi sir, natagalan ako ng pagtulog kagabi, ask another why. Bakit ka natagalan ng pagtulog kagabi? Now, it uh, depends sa answer, you might need to uh, um, ask why ulit, why and why and why. Right? So, kasi sir, nag... Depende yung answer. For example lang, sabihin niya na, kasi sir, nag... Um, lumabas kami ng barkada ko kagabi at nang inuman kami. Ayan. So, bakit kayo nag-inuman? Ganito, ganyan. Baka may problema sa, sa bahay. Or still ask. Kasi baka diretsuhin mo. Eh, huwag kang, huwag kang ganito, ganyan, ganito, ganyan. Huwag kang uminom. Alam mo naman may trabaho. Ganito, ganyan. So, yun, yun yung solution mo. Ask another why. Right? If ever ang why niya is kasi, sir, um, Laki ng problema ko, ganito, ganyan. So, you address the problem and you become a counselor now. You address the root cause of the problem. Pero kung ang problema niya, um, bakit siya uminom? Kasi birthday ng kaibigan ko, ganito, ganyan. It's not justified. It's not justifiable bakit ka uminom. Um, ganito, ganyan. Then, that's how you address it. Okay? And then, pwede, um, siguro tomorrow we're gonna be talking about how do you manage these kinds of problems? Ano ba yung problema? Is it a is it a is it a skill issue or eto habitual na ba ito? There are different ways to approach these problems. But now we are able to go to the root cause of the problems. Pag, pag sinagot niya, matagal ako naka tulog sir, kasi um ako pa naglalaba sa bahay namin at tuwing gabi ko nagla tuwing gabi ako naglalaba. So now we are seeing the problem. Bakit nakat matagal siya nakatulog? Bakit ikaw naglalaba at bakit gabi mo ginagawa? Right? So, he will explain to this, uh, explain to you, ganito kasi sir, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. So, create, now we know the problem is, now we create a solution, right? Bakit kagabi naglalaba? So, we'll try to adjust, bakit, why not we do this? Unahin, pag, pagdating mo ng bahay, maglaba ka muna para hindi ka makatulog 
hindi ka matagal matulog. Right? This is just an example. And now, we are addressing yung issue talaga na matagal siya nakakatulog. Kaya nalilate siya. Okay? And then, if malate na naman siya, um, ibang usapan na yun, we'll talk again. Ba- bakit late ka na naman? Root cause analysis yan. And then, how to how to sanction them, how to manage them after that is gonna be for a different topic. But at least we know how to get into the root cause of the problem. It's very important. If ayun nyo po recurring yung issues ng tao ninyo, then you have to do um, you have to do root cause analysis. Okay? So I hope this you learned um, a lesson for today. Hindi lang po ito applicable sa mga empleyado ninyo. Applicable ito sa mga anak ninyo. As long as you're managing. Managing people, managing kids, managing your husband, uh, managing your wife. Um, ang problema ng mga partners ngayon, eh, hindi mo alam talaga anong problema. Diba? Because we don't have root cause analysis. Bakit ka galit sa akin? Ganito, ganyan. Uh, so why, 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 why? Until you reach to a point na makita mo talaga ano yung uh, simula talaga ng problema. Right. So I'll go to the uh, issues really quick. Sir, anong books na binabasa nyo? Nag-start pa lang kayo ng trade. Any recommendations? I watch videos and talk to... Um, tama. Uh, I, I, I watch videos and um, talk to traders. Doon po ako natuto. I'm not a reader. Right. The only book that I read <laughs> my life is... The Rich Dad Poor Dad, and hindi ko pa nga natapos yun. So, I just dissected it, um, talked to someone who really have read it, and he gave me the idea of the book, and that's what I followed. Nat- nakakatulog ako pag nag- nagbabasa ako ng libro. Right. Um, root cause analysis, digging deeper into the problem. This is from Dax Aseo. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Sir Lloyd, good morning. Balik YouTube pa kayo. Pa kayo. Ang bagal na ano yun. Bagal ng Facebook ngayon eh. Sir Lloyd, pasilip na mamaya, mamaya sa talks. Nice here, sir. Right. So, um, ito yun sa isang tipid-tip ko para hindi kasta sa shampoo. Hindi kasta sa barbero. <laughs> Mitch Mendoza, good morning, Sir Lloyd. GFC, EW, and MBT po, please. Alright, so there isn't any question about root cause analysis. I hope you apply this in your business. This is very effective when handling people. Tomorrow, we're gonna be talking about um, how to deal with problems na. Now, may root cause analysis tayo, then there are different kinds of problems kasi. There are skill problems, and then there are issue, uh, there are um uh, will problems and then there is both skill and will and then there is uh, there is either uh, it's a uh, it's a will issue and then meron namang skills ganito ganyan right so there are ways to handle this and how to talk to your people we're gonna be talking about how to handle it accordingly because we need to di- uh, differentiate what kind of a problem it is right for example kung skill issue ito and he is willing to do it, then we approach it as a coach, as a teacher. Right? Hindi yung papagalitan mo or tatanggalin mo. Ang problema was a skill, so we need to approach it as a teacher. We'll go deeper into that tomorrow. Okay? So, abangan niyo po sa episode tomorrow. Okay, so, morning sir, I am Paul. Right, so we'll now go to our main topic Sir, recommended books for trading newbies. I recommend that you join the trading masterclass. Uh, for newbies, I have a seminar video. Andun na po ang kalahat ng kailangan ninyo as a newbie when it comes to dealing with stock market. And then, if ever gusto niyo po mag-upgrade to a position trader, I have a seminar. Siguro, I'll, this week project ko po is I'm gonna be doing a... Um, a registration process so that you can access videos of my seminars, okay? Pero hindi nyo na kailangan mag-join ng um, in-person seminar ko in the future if you don't have to or malapit kayo. So, you have access to it. So, gagawin ko po yan this week. That's, uh, that's a promise to you guys. So, I don't recommend any book. There are books out there, The Trading Code, um, yung kay Miss Rocher na, um, ano ba yun? Uh, Traders Empire na book. That's for newbies, right? But I have a video here uh, in YouTube. Just search for it. Um, how to get rich in the stock market. Uh, it's a seminar. It's a webinar for everything that you need to prepare to deal with the stock market. So check it out. And then I have a seminar video. I'll give you access to it. Uh, I'll give you the registration within this week para you can gain access to it. It's like a book but it's in a video form. I like videos kasi. Kaya ngayon hindi ko pa natatapos yung libro ko. Napakatamad ko sa libro. Right, skill will external environment issues. Yes, from DAX Aseo. So most probably DAX is a manager also. Ito mga itong tinuturo ko is these are the things I learned uh, when I was um, when I was a 
um, team manager in a BPO uh, in a BPO company, right? I had businesses before and it was failing, so I decided to really um, be employed and work my way up to be a manager and learn how it uh, how to manage people. And I was doing well. We, I, w- I became the top manager for the for the ano, for the company. And ayun, um, I, I, I worked to learn and now I have the skills. Pwede na akong gumawa ng business ulit. And that's why I have businesses again now. And I'm handling it better now because of the skills that I've learned. And now, you don't have to go through. <laughs> you don't have to go through everything I went through. I, I was around five years of BPO. You don't have to go through that five years to work your way up and learn the things that I know. Just tune uh, tune in to this week's episodes of the daily grind because we're gonna be about um, we're gonna be talking about uh, managing your business all right it's a managing business special for this week for the daily grind thank you sir um, hindi lang pang stock market pang business pa all right can you invest vanguard index funds in eToro um, Anilin, I'm not sure about that let me check if there's vanguard um, funds in eToro since we're gonna gonna be talking about ano na um, we're gonna be talking about um, ayun. So yes, there are right. So Vanguard, right? So Vanguard stock market. This is their ETF, right? You have here. If you you can trade here for stocks, you can trade it as stocks, right? Van. Para rin itong ano FM ETF, right? So VTI siya. So Vanguard total bonds. Meron din silang mga bond bond market ETF. So yes, you can, but you can trade it as a stock, right? Uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. So you just buy the stocks of this, and then minimum exposure is let's see if we can go with fifty. Minimum position size for this for bonds are five hundred dollars po. So five hundred five hundred dollars po ang minimum na ano um position size. How about the other Vanguard? VTI. Tignan natin magkano minimum exposure. Let's see. Let's try 50. Leverage 1. So, $500 then. So, yes to answer uh, Annie Lin's question. It's a yes. You like this one? I haven't heard about this one. So, let's check out the um, Vanguard statistics. Uh, 6 months, 1 year, 3 years maximum. Uy, it's going up. May mga pababa, but you know ETFs, you just buy the dips and then still going up. So this is a managed fund. So this is looking good. Overall, it's a gain, diba? So if you b- bought the dips right here, right here, and right here, you would have gained already. So this is a this is a good find, Annelin. I'll, I'll read more about this. So thank you for giving me a heads up for this, okay? Um, if for those who are wondering what eToro is, Right, so we are trading in eToro. I am trading in eToro, and this is my current portfolio right now. I recommend eToro for newbies, the best system for newbies. Because not only that, you can trade on your own. Pwede po mag trade on your own. You can go to newsfeed, right? Makikita nyo po anong sinasabi ng mga tao dito. It's like a Facebook page na nagkakapera kayo. Right? So you can do this. Um, also. If talagang wala kang oras to trade and oras to read, if you're a very busy person, manager din kayo ng business nyo, or you, you manage, you're a manager in a company, then you can opt to just copy people. Look for people who are doing good in their trading, and then you can copy them. For example, you want to copy me, right? So, my dashboard, so I there are people who is copying me. I'm a rising star, so I'm being paid by eToro for, let, for sharing my skills to people. And um, see, oh, there are people who just copied me, Alright, so medyo negative pa yung mga kakakopy kasi sa na, nasa taas sila, nila ako na kopya. But those people who copied me when I was really down, they're already gaining right here. Nakikita nyo po sa screen niyo, So they're already gaining. Let me just, um, let, um, there you go. Alright, so meron ng up ng 5%, 3%, 1%, meron mga negative pa. Alright, so yeah, um... When, I, when my port was down, that was the best time to copy me. So, kaya nag-gain na yung mga nag-copya sa akin while I was down. So, I'm not not just me. You can copy so many people out there. So, make sure you know about their strategy. My strategy right now in my portfolio is I'm going long-term and it's doing well for me already. Um, nagpa-profit na ako on my long-term positions. So, medyo lesser ang possible gains ko because I'm doing long term since hindi na ako nag-focus na trade. But you can look for people here and you can copy them. And look at this guy, 43.72% for the last 12 months. You can up to copy him. You can click on him and then see if how he's doing. 
right? When you create an account, ito lang request ko from my end. When you create an eToro account, andyan po sa video description, meron pong link dyan para dumiretso na kayo sa eToro account. Uh, creating an eToro account. Um, please make sure you use my link para po um, makatulong po sa channel natin. Right? I need help in uh, making this channel, uh, to continue this channel. Everything's for free. Our, our seminars are for free and we're able to do that because of eToro's help. Create an account using my link if ever you create an eToro account. Also, we want to thank 2Trade Asia. Tumutulong din naman si 2Trade Asia to us. To us right? So, yun. Um, right, uh, US Market. This is from Edward Wins. Good morning. Insights po kay Square Waste Management. Right, sir. Nakapag-deposit sa after, during uh, Dragon Pay. Nagbawas na sa video ko. Di pa nag reflect sa account ko. That should be processed this week. Kasi si... Uh, online banking siya so most probably ngayon siya makakopya copy you last week Sir Lloyd malapit maliit lang po right from DAX Aseo ay Sterling po thank you so much right so I'm gonna go back to the main comments and let's see if error ako mga na-miss right we're gonna go to the stock market now right let's talk about tech meron kasing request dito kay tech right I wanna make sure I'm sharing the screen right share the man so I'm just adjusting the camera. So tech um, dropped the support and malaki po sell off. So uh, this is the problem with tech. It gave us very good technical analysis, good support right here. And and then th it was um divergence already, but hindi po sign sign siya na aakyat na po, right? Um, we just use it as a bias in our trading. For malip po, you always have to cut your losses, especially for this stock. This is not a stock for long term. So tech nag collapse ang support niya, so stay away from tech for now. Um, bad trade siya, right? So that's one the reason why hindi ko na recommend si tech. We tested the support of tech during this time, right here, and it collapsed. I I told everyone to cut your losses, and hindi ko na siya na recommend. During this dip again, because yun, yung fundamentals niya, yung, kasi yung linabas niya sa second quarter and laki na negative. Eh. Okay, so that usually affects um, the stock, especially right now that the stock market is PSE is very <clears throat> thin in volume. Right, so DMC, this is from Mr. M. Right, so DMC. Um, ganda naman ang earnings ni DMC. So, we're waiting for a bounce for DMC. If it bounces, then this should be a divergence bounce. That's a support bounce confirmation. I would say yes. Enter na natin si DMC after an engulfing pattern right here. Um, next bounce ni, uh, pag nag na si DMC, I will be recommending DMC for, for, ent for entry. Okay, Alvin Galvez. Um, Mr. M, good vibes lang kahit po lahat ng port. Ayan, guys, if you are trading, Please trade in the international market. Mas madali po mag-trade sa international market. Ako nga, na naglo-long term lang ako, nagpa-positive. Dito sa Pilipinas, sa PSE, kahit long term, ang laki pa rin na negative ng mga tao. ba? This is the reason why I'm inviting you to trade in the international market. Sobrang, sa, sobrang ganda po mag-trade sa mga international companies. Coke, kahit negative po ako, kahit po magka-trade wars dyan, ang mga Pinoy, and everyone in the world will not stop drinking Coke. Kaya po, maganda yung long term dito. Kay Visa, kay Amazon, kay Intuit, uh, kay Starbucks, right? So, yeah. I'm recommending you guys trade in the international market. Even for long term, okay? Nang Irb Sisa, um, good morning. Uh, Rob Tayaktak, good morning. Jam Paul, Vicente, Mark Benson Ong. ISM, right? So, Mark Benson has a request for ISM. Let's check out ISM. Okay, so I'm down. I'm, I'll be downloading this. Ano, I'll be downloading this video uh, on my PC later on, and then um, I upload ko rin po sa Facebook. Okay, so ISM um, earnings. So, uh, this is uh, invalid numbers because um, dito na siya tinitingnan natin as dito, de ba? So right now ISM still playing at around 4.5, uh, 4.6 na support. This is the support that we should be testing ISM. If ever we see a green anytime soon, that should be a buy for ISM. Um, Traders-wise, cut loss below that for uh, for those who are planning to go long-term on ISM. Yun nga lang, konti lang investors sa market talaga ngayon. Karamihan si Pitero, so mahirapan pa ito makyat. So you just buy now and then um, if ever it goes further than you just buy more. If you're, you're into long-term for ISM, if you want to speculate with us, right? I'm into ISM. Also, Vicente Junior Datiles, good morning. Uh, Mark Menson Ong, nabasa na natin yan. Drew, 
DC, good morning, Sir Lloyd, watching from Qatar. Mellow, 101. Uh, Econec, Con. Right, FNI. Right. Let's check out FNI. Kamasahin ko nga sa FNI. Pero nickel. Right, so, mukhang, yun. Nag-lower, nag-lower high na sa FNI. If you still want to test this out, you can use the MA20 as your support. If ever mag-green yan today, you can definitely check it out after this climb right here. Pero, for me kasi, shadow mataas na si FNI. Maka mag-collapse na. Right. Earnings wise, maganda na earnings niya. So that should help it go up. If ever you wanna F enter FNI, antay natin ng bounce dito sa MA20 and then use MA20 as your support for FNI. Marmish, Sir Lloyd, ano po mga books na basa natin? Dax sa sale. Ayan. Uh, good. Um, Ken. Kem. Se Chico. Good morning. BPI. Alright, let's check out BPI. Actually, si BPI nasa list ko ngayon eh. Right, it's in my recommendation for today if I can recommend it. Yeah, if I can recall. Yeah, BPI, GTCAP, and CHIB. Tatlo, tatlo lang po ang recommendations ko for today. So, BPI is in there. I'm going to be talking about the technical analysis later on. Uh, Rob Ligaspi. Right, insights po kay SSP and T. Alright, good morning. Balik YouTube pla kayo. Alright, so ngayon lang kasi um, magka-problema sa Facebook. Ang bagal ni Facebook ngayon. I don't know why. Alright, Facebook, uh, YouTube is doing good. So, I'm gonna be doing the live here. Medyo late nga tayo today. Yeah. Um, SSP. SSP, right, momentum. Good, eh, good momentum. After the after the strong earnings of SSP, lumipad si, S, uh, si SSP. Um, we have a breakout at this area, at this point right here. Pero look at that uh, movement last Friday. So we see that it can still go down. So best to just wait for a good pullback and bounce for SSP. Um, or breakout strategy, if ever you want to go aggressive, you can go use breakout strategy for SSP. Use 103 as your support for SSP. Hopefully, makapasa kayo dyan. Alright, Kenwood, Jam, thank you pa silip mamaya sa Tugs. Alright, let's check out Tugs. Ang recommendation ko kay Tugs is bodegahin nyo lang po ito. Alright, so it's going, it's dipping right now after the negative earnings kay Tugs. Right, but if you check out the history of Tugs, and dami po nilang projects ngayon, that's why we're seeing negatives kay ta negative kay Tugs. I'm into Tugs for mid to long term and nagbobodega lang ako ngayon habang murang-mura pa si Tugs. Look at, um, Tugs has been doing well and it's very cheap right now. Papalapit na po tayo sa um, main prices niya kung saan siya talaga nagsimulang lumipad na naman. So I am recommending Tugs for uh, mid to long term. Sa mga hindi pa nakabili kay Tugs, do not enter it yet. Let's wait for it to stabilize before you at least test buy it. Huwag kayong mag all in. Never go all in. Kaya po ako na, kaya ko po kaya mag long term to mid term even on a falling stock is because I only test buy a support. I do not go all in on a support as much as possible for shake uh, this market is not uh, what you call this is not um, stable it's not it's not bullish it's it's not even doesn't have the right volume yet right so it's not good to be aggressive so whenever i see a support i all whenever i see boys and girls in sa isip ko <laughs> whenever i see a support um uh what you call this uh I do test buys. Uh, what I do is with my budget, for example, I plan to trade 30k for for tags. I divide that into three parts, and then so example, mag test buy ako. I use one part, so that's 10k on this position right here. So yun po ang ginawa ko. I, if ever it goes further down, I'll buy more. If it goes on an uptrend, then I'll buy more also. So now I am dito ako nagsimula kay tags around 2.20. It's going down, so I am gonna be ay, nag-collapse siya. So, anytime soon, I'm gonna be buying more. So, ganun ang gagawin ko for tags. That's how I do it in this kind of market. Um, Alvin Galvez, ni nice here, sir. Mitch Mendoza, good morning, sir Lloyd. GFC. So, right now, wala pa tayong buy kay tags. Ha? Huwag muna kayong bibili. Um, GFC, EW, and MBT po, please. Si GFC, mukhang bababa pa si GFC. Eh. Right, GF GFC is, GFC tuloy, is at 202. Um... Very heavy on the down the, on the downtrend, but hindi na siya, hindi naman siya nag uh, RSI, so it should recover anytime soon. I'm just waiting for it to stabilize. Um, in the next stabilization, I'll be buying more. Long term pa si Jollibee ngayon, and pangit trade ni Jollibee, so you don't have to trade it. Um, EW and MBT plus piece uh, po. Si EW, medyo nakalipad na si EW eh. It's really hard to catch it right now, masyado mataas na. Been recommending EW... Actually, dito pa on the divergence ni the AWA. And then on the dips, dips, dips. 
right so after this engulfing pattern na recommend ko si EW here um nag support pa nga dito ulit so medyo nakalipad din si EW so I'm not recommending EW anymore but if you really want to enter EW careful lang ha tingnan niyo yung RSI nasa taas na yung RSI natin maganda naman yung earnings niya so it might still go up or it, so I could be wrong so mas pinakamaganda dito follow the uptrend line of EW and that's where we enter EW okay so look for the trend line which is MA20 so MA20 tayo pumasok kay EW Si MBT naman, Metro Bank, um, nag, uh, nag ano na si Metro Bank eh, nag resistance So, this is, this is most probably gonna be a cup and handle um, pattern breakout po. Breakout for MBT. We have a very strong resistance right here. So, hopefully, makamag-breakout tayo. Mukhang magba-breakout naman ito in the future since this climb right here, kahit mababa, mas mataas yung RSI niya. So, it's still bullish at that point. Um, that's for MBT. Breakout lang. Good morning, sir. ISM po. We covered that already. Arjil Mendoza. Marmish, Sir Lloyd, recommended, recommended books for newbies. Um, watch my videos. <laughs> so, um, I have a video about, I have a more organized video kasi uh, a recording of my seminar. I'll, I'll post about it, how you can get access to it, right? Kasi ibili nyo po ng libro. Daxa Sale, Skill Will, External Environment Issues. Stop. Um, external and environmental issues. Totoo po yan from DAX. This is for, um, uh, there's are the, ano, uh, these are the issues of our employees and we're gonna be teaching you tomorrow how to handle this kind of is these issues. If it's a skill issue, how do you approach it? If it's a will issue, how do you approach it? Uh, meron din namang sabay na skill and will. I mean, um, merong sabay, marunong siyang, meron siyang skills and meron siyang will to do it. So, how do you approach that um, as, a, as a manager? And meron din mga tao na um, wala pang skill and wala pang will. How do you approach that also? Paano mo siya kakausapin? How do you coach him? And we're gonna be also talking about coaching, coaching people, right? Pag nagkamali ang tao, how do you approach it? professionally and in a way na hindi po maka-offend kasi pag pagagagalitan niyo po yan, motivation goes down it's gonna bring it's gonna bring down the will um, it's gonna instead na skill issue lang pala sana yun um, sasamahan pa yun ng will issue kasi pinagalitan mo and if pinagalitan mo there's a constructive way how to do it so I'm really gonna be teaching you how to talk, talk to your people um, I'm gonna be teaching you how to coach your personnel okay para po kung skill issue lang yan hindi pa samahan ng will issue pagpapagalitan nyo po yan, magiging skill and will na yan, it's gonna be very hard to motivate your people after. That's most probably the reason why nawawalan kayo ng tao. So, we're gonna teach you that. Anilin, Sir Nitoro, um, they give dividends back. Yes, that is correct. Uh, Itoro gives the dividends and in proportion then If ever you only own half of the stock, then half of the dividends ang napupunta sa inyo. Elmore Cesar, thank you Sir Lloyd. Hindi lang pang stock market, pang business pa. Anilin, alright, so we answered this already. Edward Vince, good morning Sir. Insights po kay Square, Waste Management, HubSpot, Shopify, sa US market. Alright, so let's check out these uh, stocks. So una pong question ninyo is... Square, Lemon Square. Right, Square Inc. Let's go to the charts. Go full screen. Uh huh. Oi, mo kamo break out ito si ano ah, si SQ ah. Alright, so it att it attempted a breakout a uh, few days back last week, and then nagfail, nagbounce lang sa support and nasa resistance na naman tayo. Hopefully this time makapag breakout na po siya. Let's get a horizontal line. This was the clear resistance yesterday. I mean, last week. So, if ever mag-sustain tayo ng breakout dyan and closes up there, then we can start buying it. Sa international market, especially dito na nagsa-sideways siya, best to wait for confirmation. Dalawang breakout bars, that should be a good signal na nag-sustain na siya for SQ. So, yes, this is good. Good find. Abang na lang ng konti. Malapit na mahinog ito. Waste management. Incorporated. Excuse me. Right, Waste Management Incorporated. Ayaw mag-load ah. Ayan, WM. So, it's breaking MA20 right now. There was a clear downtrend here. We're getting higher highs, right? So, 
This is the previous high. I mean, the higher high. Let's wait for a pullback, and then and then the next bounce should be a confirmation for a buy, and we can use that as a so our support. So, malapit na rin ito, Edward. Right. Um. Also, HubSpot. You're looking for hubs. You're looking at HubSpot. HubSpot. Si HubSpot mo kong downtrend pay. Right. Uh, it broke the support. Uh. Uh. Last week or two weeks ago. Um. Though, pero. Nag short term support din naman siya and starting to go up. Let's wait for a reversal. Reversal meaning higher, 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 low. Um, para to make sure that we have a good entry. Uh, mukhang pa down rin pa siya overall. Eh. So it's too aggressive right now for HubSpot. I cannot recommend it yet. Let's wait for a clear signal before we want to enter HubSpot. Shopify. Alright, Shopify. Right, looking good. Sorry, gulo ng chart. Right, looking good. Meron tayong support dito for Shopify. Uh, Nag-downturn siya ng konti, nag-double bottom. So, it's now doing, a, a, uh, it's now poised to do a pullback. Hopefully, mag-pullback and bounce. The next bounce after a pullback should be a good entry point for Shopify. We have a good support already for Shopify. So, malapit na rin itong ma, uh, mahinog. Actually, nasa baba naman ito. Magandang pullback pa rin ito kay Shopify. You check out Shopify's earnings for this year. If ever positive, that sh uh, f especially for the third quarter, they should help Shopify start to go up again. Ang ganda ng company nito. Paakit ang baakit ito. Eh. Nag-pullback lang when after President Trump was doing things. And <laughs> so, bumaba siya. But nagsusupport na siya. So, malapit na ito. It's either you can buy it again and support or next pullback and bounce for Shopify. So, this is good. Good find. And, um... This is for Edward Vince. Melanie J, sir, nag-deposit ako Saturday. We'll already, already answer this. Dax, uh, I used your link po. Thank you so much. Um, again, if ever you want to create an eToro account and trade in the international market or invest with us, make sure you please use my link. Malaking tulong po yan sa channel natin. And it will help us in our mission in educating more Filipinos about financial literacy. This year po, tutuloy na po namin. We are going to be going into schools. And this is for free. Right, we're gonna be going to schools and then talk to graduating students. We are gonna be teaching them financial literacy. I know, um, sinasubmit na nila ito sa senado, um, sa senado. Um, while it's not yet there, why wait for them? We have to work. Uh, we have to work ourselves. My biggest, uh, my biggest belief in in poverty is that kulang sa disiplina. At edukasyon ang Pinoy when it comes to financial literacy. At least man lang sa education, ma-answer natin yung disiplina na lang. That's something we cannot teach and it's up to them. right So at least we, done, we did our part. If ever, maging mahirap pa rin sila after getting a good job, then they can only blame themselves. Tayo, nagawa natin yung side natin. And we're gonna be doing that for free. So if you ever, there's a way to help the channel, you can help the channel for free. Just make sure you create the account using my link po. Right? Malaking tulong po yan. Genesis, Riaga, uh, Jumple Sikat, Sir LTG, PNB, MRSG, and DD. Thanks. Alright, so, I'm gonna go to, ano, last muna tayo kay Jumple, right? I'm gonna go to my picks really quick. It's already 9.09. So, um, unahin ko muna ang picks ko. We only have three anyway. So, after this, I'm gonna go to Jump Paul Cat's request. Right, so, my picks for today are tatlo lang po yan. Nandiyan po sa video description. Um, uy nga pala, today, meron na po tayong registration link for our um, South Korea seminar. Andiyan po ang financial freedom sa South Korea. Medyo na delay lang po tayo because of the visa. If you're in South Korea, you should uh, you should know this. May process ang um, processing ng visa is natatagalan. So, and nalabas na yung visa natin. Sadly, yung venue naman natin nakuha for December 1 sana. So, we're gonna be moving the seminar on December 8. Everything is already set na kapag book na po tayo ng venue. So, I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna be posting about the um the link Ano, um, the link about the registration today on our Facebook page and in Billionaires Club, right? Thank you so much, mga organizers, ng ano, ng seminar natin for ano, uh, for South Korea who invited us there. Okay, um, ayun, um, my three picks for today: BPI, GTCAP, and CHIB. Right, BPI. Right, why do I recommend BPI for today? Let me go full screen. Right, so we are backed up by very good earnings, 38.15% for BPI, and this should be a good dip already, and, and lakas ng, uh, malaki yung bounce naman niya, malakas naman yung bounce niya, backed up with volume 
on the support. So, I think this is the support already for BPI. 94.13. This is trading na lang ha. Hindi ko na po sa inyo ipapabodega ito. Dati pinabodega ko kay kay BPI dito. Um, around dito, dito, dito. And then, we were able to win that much. And right now, nakalipad na siya. So, trading na lang po ito. I don't want you to accumulate at this level right here. But if you have plans to go long term for BPI, mukhang malayo pa naman mararating nito. Pwede pa rin. Right now, I just don't recommend it. Right, dapat nung bumaba siya. That was a very good opportunity. Right now, trading lang tayo. 93, uh, around 93.80. Um, 93.80 as support natin. So, um, you can use that as your support if you want to trade BPI. I'm recommending BPI for today. GTCAP also after very good um, earnings um, release last week. I think GTCAP is bound to do a breakout um, from these resistances. This is a bullish signal pa rin. So that's still a divergence backed up by earnings and good volume on the bounce. So yes, I'm recommending GTCAP for today. Right. Lastly, CHIB. Ito lang po tatlo kasi ang hina ng market. Um, Load please. And China Bank, right? After good earnings then, 24.57%. Banks are doing well and it's it's looking good for the banks right now. Um, CHIB has been doing well also. So yes, after the MA20 bounce, meron tayong dalawang pula but it's still on a positive, positive side. So gap up kasi yung openings niya. So that's okay. Um, use MA20 as your support. We have a major support right here. Actually, bodegahin yun lang to. Pag bumalik pa sa support, you just buy more on the major support for B, uh, CHIB. CHIB has been doing well this year, right? 14% for the first quarter, second quarter, 24% for the first quarter. Um, last year, maganda rin naman ang annual earnings niya. So, this is a very good head start for one year of CHIB of dip. I think this is gonna do a reversal. This year, especially na napakaganda na inflation ng Pilipinas ngayon. That's very, that's a very good plus for the banks kasi po, maraming uutang sa kanila. Kasi yung problema pag inflation, um, malaki yung interest ng banko, wala pong uutang, hindi ko makita yung banko. Now that, maliit po ang, maliit po ang, ang interest ng mga banks. Marami pong, mag, uh, kahit maliit po yan, maramihan naman ang, mag-uutang, that's gonna be very good for the banks. That's one of the things that we explained on our inflation topic uh, the past few days. Right? So, CHIB doing well. Right? I think it's still gonna go up in the future. Ang ganda na posisyon nito. I can recommend na pwede nyo po ibodega ito si CHIB. Right now, right, sir, good morning po. How about tech po? Right? Si tech nagko-collapse po sa support. So, I don't wanna ano, I don't wanna recommend tech as of the moment. Um, yeah, so those are my picks for today. I'm gonna go back to Jampol C Katzer LTG. LTG. Right? So LTG na sa supports ito eh, right? Nag collapse ng support. I'm waiting for ano. I'm waiting for LTG um, to stabilize. Your earnings kasi ni LTG ang gande, right? It might bounce anytime soon, and we are in a very massive support for LTG. So I recommended LTG before here. Right? And umakyat naman si LTG. We tested the support of LTG here. Nag-collapse siya. And this is the major support we're looking at right now. I can recommend LTG on the green as much as possible nga sana eh. Um, ano eh um, stabilization eh. So, let's just wait. Let's just wait. Um, anytime soon, may hinug na ito. Naabangan ko yan. I will definitely uh, recommend uh, LTG if we have buy signals already. PNB. Actually, pwede na yan. Pudegahin nyo na yan. Ang lakas na support na yan. PNB. Alright, PNB. Good earnings, right? So, on the green kay PNB, let's test it out, right? Ang ganda na support na yan. Pag nag-green si PNB, baka mag-collapse ng support eh. Let's let it bounce at the support at least para may confirmation tayo for PNB. But this is a good find. Good, good job, jump Paul. Sikat. MRSGI and DD. MRSGI, I've been recommending MRSGI sa supports niya. Right, so, we're still playing at the support. By as long as the support holds for MSGI, ganda, maganda naman yung earnings niya. Third quarter, it's not that much, but it's still on the positive side. So that's good. Especially pa December na. So most probably, MSGI is gonna close the year well. Right? These are the stocks na um, whenever December, malakas po ang kita, kaya malakas ang numbers and makakahila yan sa first um, earnings nila. Um, annual earnings nila. DD. Right? I recommended DD on this support and pumula siya last Friday, but that nonetheless, these are very good numbers for DD. So, buy as long as the support holds for DD. So, my so my recommendation on this green still stands. Nag-hold pa rin naman support. It's still a buy for DD. Okay? Buy as long as the support holds. Hilda, ba um, Hilda Bascos, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasilip po si ACEPH. Right. 
lower highs tayo eh. Mabigat na sa ACEPH. I don't I the reason why I haven't been recommending ACEPH already anymore is um at all at the at lately, diba? It's because nasa taas na po sa si ACEPH. Let's wait for a good dip before natin pasukin. At, at least man lang dito sa support nito. This is a very clear support for ACPH. That's a very strong resistance right there. Nakalipad na po yan. Huwag na kayo magpapahype dyan. Right? Uh, marami nagpo-post kasi kay ACEPH, maganda earnings, etc. No, don't do that anymore. Nasa taas na po yan. Alright, Axelum. If this bounces, then that's a double bottom. That is gonna be a good support we can test out for Excelum. Okay? Maganda naman yung earnings ni Axelum, so that should help it bounce. So anytime soon, baka mag-bounce na yan si Axelum. Si Home, maganda ng numbers, pero ang hirap huliin ni Home ngayon. Alright, so nakalipad na si Home, so we'll wait for next pullback and bounce. Magpo-pullback po yan, no worry. If ever in the, then that's a missed opportunity. Um, <coughs> wag na natin pasukin. Alright, so, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, CHP, we talked about DD already, so si CHP na lang i-cover ko from Hilda's request. Um, it's 9.17, time check po. CHP, earnings-wise, okay naman yung pinapakita ni earnings. So, we have a support for CHP right here and we have a resistance. This is where we test it. So, hopefully, bilikin tayo sa support. If hindi, then wag po natin pilitin. It's either either here sa support or we we enter at a breakout for CHP. Remember lang, mag, uh, mag FO, no, mag-follow on offering si uh, CHP, so that might make CHP volatile on the downside. So, konti ingat po kay CHP. Okay? Let it break out. Rafi Ayub, nice to hear, sir. Insights po kay IDC. IDC, I'm waiting for IDC to do a pullback. Tama ba itong IDC chart ni, ano, si, ni, ni Investagrams? I'm not sure. Pero, eh, basing from this, ano, basing from this chart, let's wait for the pullback. MA20 is the best entry point for IDC before we wanna um, enter IDC. Okay? So wait wala, wait lang na ano wait lang ng pullback for IDC. Wala tayong wala tayong entry diyan. Very high risk position po 'yan. Jeff Trahano Sir Lloyd pa check si ABG. ABG. All right, ABG, maganda naman tong earnings ni ABG eh. So confirmation from support pag nag green 'yan, then that should be a buy for ABG. Nagaantay lang ako ng green. Marmish, Sir Lloyd CLI. Right, AEV and CPG po. Si AEV bumabagsak eh. But si CLI, no, nirecommend ko sa baba, umakit na no, umakit. So, congratulations sa mga uh, pumasok kay CLI. We're waiting for CLI to do a pullback for our next entry. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay CLI. Maganda na may earnings niya. So, we're expecting good um, pullback and bounce. Doon tayo may position. Wala pa tayong position ngayon kay CLI. Dapat doon when I recommended it sa baba. Right, uh, for, that's for CLI. AEV... Bumabagsak pa ang support na AEV eh. Right, so. We are at the support for AEV. Ang earnings kasi ni AEV negative kaya bumag bumulusok si AEV eh. So, um, it's volatile on the downside right now. We don't see any reversal pattern. So, don't wanna recommend AEV as of the moment. <clears throat> right, so. CPG. And thanks a lot po. Si CPG, one of my favorite stocks. Um... The resistance is CPG. Eh. Maganda naman yung earnings niya. So that might help. But right now, we have a strong resistance for CPG. So at least man lang mag-break out sa CPG. Or let's see saan natin pupulutin sa CPG. Mukhang malakas yung sell-off kay CPG. Eh. So wala, wala pa tayong buy signal. So we'll see in the future. I'll let you know if ever pwede na natin pasukin ulit sa CPG. Right. Coach, paan po gumawa ng another account sa eToro for high risk and low risk po sana? Right. So you just, ano, um, you just sign out from your eToro. And then click on my link again, and then it will give and it will guide you to the. No, let me let me try that. Um, I'll yung it yung tong itoro account ko na sa pub, pang public nito. Eh. <laughs> right. Um, even my port, I'm sh I'm sharing it to everyone. Anyways, hindi pa naman hindi naman malakihan ang ano. Right. So now I'm logged out. I'll go to facebook.com. Sana naman mabilis. Ito problema ko Facebook. Ang bagal ngayon ni Facebook. Alright, let's go to Financial Freedom 101. Mukhang okay na si Facebook. But too late, Facebook na pag live na ako sa, ano, sa YouTube. Alright, if you wanna know why I've been streaming in Facebook. Yan, ito yung problema ko. Tagal mag-load. Uh, I've been streaming in Facebook lately because I wanna start monetizing my Facebook. Um, at least man lang yung mga videos, kumikita tayo and we can use that as our funds for future projects. Um... 
yun ang bagal. Alright. So, you just click on my link and then pag naka-sign out kasi kayo, um, pupunta ulit kayo sa ayaw mag-load. Alright. So, I'll just place the link directly on the ano na lang. I'll just place the link directly on the ganyan. Ganyan ang problema ko kanina kaya hindi ako nakapag-live sa Facebook. Sobrang bagal. Um, both on Chrome and um, Microsoft Edge. So, yeah. I just place the link here. And then, it will give you to log in. Then, just click on uh, sign up dito. So, lower right side. As long as you have already, ano, as long as you have signed out. And you, so, just click on sign up. Okay? So, ganun po. Um, next up, questions, right? Rents or is good morning, Sir Lord. How about tech po? We covered tech already. Nag-ano pa? Nag, Nag-co-collapse pa yung support niya. Miss the YouTube channel. God bless po. Thank you, Samboy. Alright, Bio Campanero, good morning, more power, God bless, sir, thank you for sharing all your knowledge, thank you so, so much. Sir, sir, question ko lang po, this is from Chesty Lang. Um, regarding sa promotion ng eToro, pag nag po ba ako ng $1,000, hindi ko pa muna yung gagamitin for copy trading, possible po kasi bumaba. Hindi, okay lang yan, kahit po bumaba ng below $1,000, that's okay. Okay, okay lang po yan, as long as yung accumulated deposit po, yung deposit po kasi yung nila, not your current funds. Right, so that's okay. Um, you have to copy trade it. You have to use the funds before they they will um kailan po gamitin talaga yan para kasi yan yung isa sa mga guidelines. Um speaking of ano, speaking of promotion ni Itoro, guys, I hope you have uh, you know about the uh, Itoro's promotion ha. Um Itoro will give out $60 if ever ano, if ever mag-fund kayo ng $1,000, $2,000 I forgot how much they are gonna give. Five thousand dollars. They're gonna give two hundred dollars. Am I right? I forgot how much they're gonna give. Pero meron po. <laughs> it's a uh, ano sa sa one thousand dollars they're gonna give you um I mean sa twenty thousand dollars meaning one million pesos bibigyan po kayo ng fifty thousand ni Itoro and then pwede niyo withdraw niyan. Instant gains po yan fifty thousand, de ba? That's a very big opportunity. So, you can use that. Alright. Uh, Sir, IDC, LHC. IDC and LHC. Let's go back to the charts. IDC. Si IDC, we covered IDC already. LHC. Ito, one of my favorite companies. Nasa baba ngayon si LHC. Right? Nag-pull back kasi si LHC. Right? This is where I recommended it. Really hard to catch it right now. Ganda ng earnings ni LHC. That's why I've been recommending this for long term. So, we already have a higher high. Higher low, let's wait for it to baka mag-resistance to eh. Malapit kasi sa resistance, that's why I don't want to recommend it. Well, antay natin, sana natin bupulitin muna si LHC before we can recommend LHC again. Meg po sana, sir, like from this is from Vidgore. So, let's check out Meg. Nintay natin yung breakout ni Meg. Pero hindi ng breakout. So, abangan natin sa support. So, this is the reason why I didn't want you to get in Meg kasi baka hindi mag-breakout, right? Earnings wise, okay na may earnings niya, pero hindi pa rin nag-breakout, di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo, huwag pangungunahan ng market. And that's the reason why. So, right now, we are gonna be waiting where Meg is gonna move. Maybe back to support or maybe a breakout. So, those are an, our entries. So, abang lang muna. Pahabol, sir, AC. Sana kung pwede pa. Si AC, ang ganda na ng presyo ngayon. Eh. It's just that nagda-downturn si AC, kaya hindi ko pa muna i-recommend. We don't have a good pattern yet. Let's see if it will create a support at that area for short-term trading for AC. Right now, pababa pa. So, ingat lang muna kay AC. Anyways, this drop right here is a divergence still. So, any support soon should be a buy for AC. Pwede po natin i-trade yan. Alright. So, and uh, remember, remember, bukas, we are, I'm going to be teaching you how to manage um, certain behaviors and um um, mga mali na mga tauhan natin. When you start a business, we're gonna be, uh, this week again, it's gonna be about business management. Uh, it's a special series for for the daily grind uh, habang, maba, um, habang slow pa naman ang market. Okay? So, you'll know if you if you run a business, you have videos to run to. Pwede po nyo matakbuhan itong video na ito or you can watch it yourself. If you already have, a, if you already are managing people or P, um, kahit na po yung, ano, yung mga anak ninyo, you can use this also. How to talk to them. Right? This is basically how to manage people. We're gonna be talking about that tomorrow. Right? May question lang si Sir, any, um, sa new account po ba, same bank account, pwede po yan. Right? You can do that for eToro. Right? Wala pong problema yan. I'll see you again tomorrow. 
Uh, market is shaky, so don't be aggressive. On the supports, test buy lang. Mamaya na tayo maging aggressive pag uptrend na yung stock ninyo. Right now, yung mga binibigay ko sa inyong stocks, karamihan na sa baba. So, test buys for those supports, okay? That's it for today. See you tomorrow. As always, let's get rich together. Bye, everyone.